Good morning, welcome back to another vlog. I'm not gonna say much now because I'm running late for a rowing outing. I'm just running to the boathouse. It's almost 6.30 in the morning. It's dark outside. This is awful, but hey ho, it's gonna be fun. Um, it's basically the first week of lectures. I've had three lectures, but last week, but this week it's like properly getting to the spring of lectures. I've already been set loads of work, always the way. So it's gonna be a great, productive, hopefully week, busy week, so come join me. So I've just run back. I've got changed out of my coxing stuff. Look, this is all my layers of coxing stuff. Look how much layers I have to wear. It was freezing this morning. I've got 10 minutes to go until lectures, so I'm gonna head. Okay, I just got back from lectures. I've just been eating lunch. I've been having some Pringles and there's baked goods on the table. Ooh, <gasps> free baked goods. I like the sound of that. OMG. <laughs> okay, so I'm now up in my room again. I've had lunch. The baked goods were very, very tasty and now i've got work to do so yesterday morning i had like no work at all like i hadn't been set anything everything i'd been set had been completed and then i got two lovely emails yesterday being like okay so i've got this work for you to do and it's due in tomorrow and another one saying i've got this work for you and it's due in the day after tomorrow i'm like thanks for the great notice piles of notice so i've now got to do some questions based on the stuff i've done in lectures and some questions based on stuff I haven't yet covered yet in lectures, so that'll be interesting. So I'm gonna get started now because my first deadline is at 10 o'clock this evening. Okay, so the update is we're a good few hours on and I'm struggling. Op amps are very, very confusing. I've gone through lecture notes. I'm just trying to do the questions and confused. Ah, first two lectures were already lost. But anyway, I've got a hand in this work at 10 o'clock this evening, so maybe I'll understand it by then. If I don't, I'm just going to put, I'm obviously going to keep going at it this afternoon, but if I don't get it, I'm just going to write on the work, like, I spend the whole afternoon and evening on this, and I still don't get it, so. <laughs> but that's what supervisions are for, right? When you don't understand something, hopefully my supervisor will explain it in a way that I do understand. But anyway, that is the update. I'm going to keep going. No. <laughs> Okay, so I've just come back from CAF and I'm getting back to my questions. I've got three hours. <laughs> Hopefully I can do them in that time. Okay, so I'm done. I'm just about to go hand my questions in. They're a bit dodgy at best. I'm pretty sure some of my answers are most definitely wrong. But I'm just really looking forward to the supervision tomorrow because I'm hoping it's going to make everything a lot more clear. So that is the beauty of supervisions. We get the chance to ask questions. When you don't get something in the lecture, you can ask your supervisor oh, what is going on. So yeah, no, that'll be good. I've got my questions ready. I've just been going through the lecture notes as well and starring exactly what I'm not sure about. So I know exactly what I need to ask tomorrow. So hopefully that will help. So yeah, I'm just going to go slide this folder underneath the door of my supervisor's office for them to mark this evening or tomorrow morning. And then my supervision is tomorrow. Good morning. So I'm just about to head off to my supo, which is in 10 minutes time at 9.30. And it's in college, which is quite handy. And I've just been watching some YouTube videos on op amps before that to see if it explains it any better than the lecture notes in a way I can understand because I don't understand the lecture notes basically. But the supervision should be good. The first one of term, getting back into it. So I can confirm that the supervision helps a lot and I now have a much better understanding of the lecture content. For the rest of the morning, I got on with some physics questions which were due in later that day. Okay, so I think I'm gonna break now. It's half 12 and I'm feeling peckish and I tend to have dinner earlier here as well than I do at home, so why not have lunch now? The questions are going well. I'm about halfway through, which is good. And I've got the rest of the afternoon to complete them. So 
things are looking hopeful, today is going better than yesterday. Okay, so I've now finished the physics questions and I'm about to cycle over to West Cambridge to hand them in because my supervisor's pigeonhole is over at the physics labs, which is great, woo. But I volunteered to run everyone's work over because I am such a nice person and actually it looks quite sunny outside, like look behind me. Oh, look, it looks like it's quite a nice sunny afternoon, so I don't mind cycling over. Featuring the Cavendish Laboratory. Okay, so I've just dropped off the work. I found the pigeonholes. I was so worried. I was like, these directions are not very clear. I didn't even know which entrance I was going in. And then literally I stumbled across the pigeonholes. I was like, what a relief. It's quite a lot of pressure when you're taking some other people's work as well as your own. I was like, I've literally got to find these pigeonholes within 45 minutes, will I manage it? But I did. Now I've got to cycle back because calf dinner's on and I don't want to miss that. I'm hungry. In hindsight, I also parked my bike at a very bad location, like I'm having to walk all the way back around to it. Later that evening, I decided to do some rather rusty clarinet playing. Okay, so I'm up out this evening. I'm going to a talk on cosmology and, well, some area of cosmology anyway, from Professor Carlos Frank. Um, I read the blurb and it just sounded interesting. It's being run by the Astronomy Society, I think. So I'm heading along to it. It's at the chemistry department, lecture theatre though, so I'm having to walk across town to get there. I'm also running late, hence why I'm out of breath. But no, I think this talk should be interesting. The guy who's giving it is like some leading professor in computational cosmology or something. So it should be a good talk. And yeah, I have seven minutes to get there. Am I gonna make it? Who knows? I'll be embarrassing if I have to walk in late. Quick. It was quite an impromptu decision to go, hence why I'm running late. Like, I suddenly looked at the time and the event popped up on my Facebook feed and I was like, wait, I'll go to that. So hence why I'm rushing. Good morning, I'm just about to head off to lectures. I'm in a rush as normal. Um, yeah, busy day, let's get going. So, I am walking to my next lecture because it's a lovely sunny day and there's also no place to park your bike before this lecture because it is very busy. So, why not walk? First lecture we're going to is maths and then we've got a physics lecture afterwards. <laughs> and we are back to college. Okay, so lectures were okay today. The last physics one was, like there wasn't much to it, but at least we all kept up with it. The maths one, I got so annoyed in the maths one because the person sitting behind me kept kicking the back of my seat. It was very annoying and everyone started coughing around me and I'm like, fresh as flu is coming for me. So that was annoying. But anyway, calf is the time. Tim's gonna try sleep for the first time. Or I hope he is anyway. It's all very exciting. Here we have Chapel Court. I miss this place a lot with the chapel. Okay, here's Tim trying soup for the first time. I'm going to give a review. Okay, I'll do a soup review. Okay. 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 It's okay. Yeah, it's oh. alright. Try it with bread. Okay. So I'm going to dip the bread in and then eat the bread, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, it's bread dipped. Mm. It's not quite as good as normal bread. <laughs> mm. Okay, so plain bread is better. That's the verdict. Okay, so I've just got back from CAF and I've got approximately two hours, no, more than that, two and a half hours until I've got to leave to go to my supervision this afternoon. So I'm thinking I'm going to just tie up the op amps work that <laughs> I'm still tying up. I'm still like making sure I've finished everything off before I file it all away. And also there's a couple of maths questions I need to finish, which are for my supervision tomorrow. Okay, so I'm just about to head off to West Cambridge woohoo, for the second day running, this time for my supervision. 
I'm just gonna go grab Tim because we've got our supervision together today and we're gonna cycle over and find our supervision room, which should be interesting because it's buried deep in the Cavendish. So me and Tim have just come out of our hour and a half supo. Woo! But I was actually quite glad that she overran because I was worried that the supo was gonna end with at an hour. We wouldn't have covered everything, but she was happy to go to an hour and a half, which I was quite pleased with. And yeah, I'm ready to go back and go over all the problems again and answer them for the second time round, but right this time. Hello, so I am up this morning and I'm feeling a bit rough today to be honest. Like I think Fresh's flu has hit me. Lovely, but to make myself feel better, I've made myself a hot chocolate and I am getting on with a few maths questions before my supervision at midday today. I did a bit of work in my pajamas this morning so I couldn't be bothered to get up but now I've showered and everything and it's quarter past ten and yeah I just need to have this hot chocolate and I'm gonna stop talking because my throat just can't take it. Here's me waiting for my math supervision to start. Okay so my math supo was the best supo ever. My supervisor was absolutely amazing so I am very pleased. He explained things very well. I've just been to Sainsbury's to do some shopping I've got some sandwich stuff and now we're heading back into college. Here's Ed struggling with the door. Being filmed right now. Yeah! This door sucks, it's the worst door ever. Okay, so I've had a quick lunch and now I'm back up to my room to do some more work, but first I'm actually just filling out my spending spreadsheet. So this year I'm being strict with myself and I'm actually writing down everything that I spend so I can keep more track of my money because I felt like last year I just didn't really know what was going on. I checked my balance every now and again and was like, meh, that's okay. But I want to like pay a bit more attention to what I'm spending so I'm just jotting that down on this spreadsheet right now with my receipts down here. And yeah, after that I've got a few bits and pieces to do this afternoon. I've got no more contact hours today so it should be pretty chill. Okay, so I've had dinner now and I'm back to my desk and I am determined to sort this physics question out because I've literally stumped on it. You know when you just get stumped and you have no idea what you're doing wrong? Like, I've worked it through so many times and it's not coming out at the answer they give. Like I'm supposed to get a certain numerical answer they give. But anyway, I'm determined to sort it. So I've got an hour before I'm going to go to the Natural Sciences Society mingle event so i want in that hour to be able to solve this question and hopefully another one as well and then i'm ready to move on to the next question set which i did want to start this evening but run into a bit of trouble with this stuff so it's taken longer than i first thought but it's still fine i feel like i'm still on top of things you know i'm actually feeling like quite pleased with myself at this point in term like we're a week into term now and actually i'm on top of my work i'm not sleep deprived i'm having a decent amount of time to spend with my friends still. I feel like I'm really on top of things. Cue the silent celebration. I just got the right answer, finally. Oh my God, this is such a good feeling. I got it, hallelujah. I was just about ready to give up and then I was like, right, this one final try, this one final attempt. And it dropped out right, thank God. So yeah, now I've just got one more question to do. Update, I'm now stuck on the second question. <sighs> so near yet so far, I'm nearly finished, but like, why do I keep ending up with the wrong answer every time? It's so frustrating. <laughs> and I can see what I've got is close, just like I had last time, but it's not quite there, like I'm missing something. <laughs> I'm at the Natsuki mingle event. I've got my glass of wine and I'm mingling with Natsuki's. Okay, so we're heading back from the Natsuki mingle and I want to play werewolf, but we might play poker. We'll see, but it will be a no, fun wait, time wait, anyway. What type of poker? Everyone wants to play chaos poker, which is, you're blinding with that light. Well, do you want, do you want to see I don't players? actually like chaos poker. I prefer normal poker, but... Yeah, Paige is very good at it. 
I am very good at poker. Thank you, Will. Well, and, you, um, you learned from me, so yeah. I'm not going to get any more work done this awesome. evening. Because it's late. <laughs> even though some people want to go to the library, which is just weird. Who Hashtag would go to the library? library. It's like yeah. past nine o'clock. Who goes to the library at this time? Um, people who work hard. <laughs> Rude. I did my work earlier in the day, so. Oh, I don't have any work to do. Whatever, whatever. Raise. Hold. Who's down the bedding? Pages. How much did he? Can you not? Pages. Okay, so I've now come up back to my room and I'm gonna go to bed now because I don't want to stay up late because I've got lectures tomorrow and I don't want to be sleep deprived. Also, I'm going to formal tomorrow, so I'll probably be up late tomorrow, going to the bar afterwards, possibly going out tomorrow night. I haven't decided yet. We'll see. So. Obviously, if I'm up late tomorrow night, I want to get a fairly early night tonight and. Um, Obviously, I want a productive day of work tomorrow. Although, to be honest, I'm feeling good about work. As I said earlier, work is actually going quite well so far. Touch wood. Touching my bed that's wood here. We're all on top of it after week one. The Natsuki Mingle event was actually really good. Um, it was very busy this year. I don't remember it being so busy last year, but there were quite a lot of people there. I've got to fill in my availabilities for rowing outings next week. I might actually do that now while I remember. All is going well. I'm quite looking forward to... Getting into bed, getting a good night's sleep, and we're ready to go for lectures tomorrow morning. And here is the library we worked in between lectures that morning. Okay, so I've had lectures this morning. They went okay, although I feel like I need to read over the notes of all three lectures this morning to make sure I fully understand what went on. But that's what this afternoon's for, right? In between lectures today, I found a library on Downing site which I could work in because, like, we have the issue that we only have an hour between lectures, so there isn't really time to cycle back to college and then cycle back to lectures again because by the time you're back at college, you've got, like, half an hour to actually get work done. It's not very efficient. But we found a library on Downing site which we can sit in and work in. Now I'm going to get lunch. I've tied my hair back up my face um, because it's just way too thick and annoying me today. Um, so I'm gonna go get lunch and then I'm gonna work for my afternoon and then I've got formal this evening which will be really really good. Okay so it's now 5.45 and I'm gonna start getting ready for formal because it takes me a while to do my makeup and do my hair and transform myself from this into what I will hopefully look like this evening which is pleasant hopefully for formal. Yeah I've got new clothes this year so a new formal outfit hopefully we'll see and yeah I'll do some nice makeup. I'm looking forward to formal this evening. I've missed formal. It's been so many months since my last formal. For anyone who's a new viewer, formals are three course meals that you have in the evening that you go to every now and again with your friends for a special occasion or just because you fancy a nice meal. You get dressed up, you put your gowns on and it's usually a very nice time. And it's Jacob's birthday, or it was last week. It was his 21st last week. So we're celebrating it at formal this evening. And yeah, I'm really excited. It's like a nice reward for working hard all week because, you know, it's been a tough week of lectures, you know, getting back into the swing of term and I've actually feel like I've worked really hard. Like even this afternoon, I've like been working nonstop. So I just, I feel like I really just deserve this break for fall. Oh, I have transformed myself. Let's go. So here we're in the classic formal queue where we queue up to go into formal. As you can see behind me, lots of people waiting to be let into the hall. I'm settling back in. I've got my wine here. So, for like the first time ever in our experience, there are no fellows at formal. The table's behind, up the top there. No there's no one there. No We're allowed phones today. There's no gong, no grace is said. It's basically not formal hall because there's no fellows here. So, there could be carnage really. It also basically means I can keep my phone out throughout formal and that means I can vlog more. So, it's good news. This was the starter. The pennying has begun. I've already had to down a glass of wine, unfortunately, because a penny has been put in there. Um, 
Yija is about to have a glass of wine because a penny was put in his glass and when your glass is empty, it, the rule is empty is full so you still have to down the glass of wine. Pennying is just like a drinking game that they just do in Cambridge but it's a lot of fun at formals you have to be wary. The best way to counter it is to have your glass at this sort of fullness so if someone does put a penny in it, you don't have much to down and it's not empty so that someone can't make you drink a full glass. The rules are confusing but it gets quite fun. I've got a big stash of pennies so if people penny me I will penny them back so they should be where. Oh we just saw it's got a penny and now there's lots of pennies flying everywhere so I'm going to hold on to my wine glass. He just knocked over his glass of wine and the glass has broken. The wine has got everywhere, it's red wine, it's everywhere. Not good. It's all because he wanted some of my kale. Kale is too healthy for me. Who eats kale? Only healthy people. Like Yija. One. Oh! Oh! Dabbing because they think it's cool, but I've told them it's not cool, but everyone thinks dabbing is cool. <laughs> I'm now having coffee. Okay, just bad. That's bad That's video. That's my coffee. That's bad video. Bad content. Do you see how my friends like don't bad support content. my videoing? It's actually rude. Boo. Boo you. <laughs> Boo you. Boo. Okay, signing out, but formal has been great. Okay, so we are now in J Bar after formal, and here is everyone all gathered after formal. Here we have Will. How are you doing? How are you doing, Will? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. You're good? Yeah. Everyone's good. After formal. What more could you want? Is that a Jaeger bomb? Yeah, it is. Of course it's a Jaeger bomb. We bought them for the... Well, it's just been my birthday formal and it was very good. <laughs> so we, we had pizza from Selway. So we, we even had my brother and his girl. <laughs> Hello, so we are now back in the staircase. Back in formal the staircase. It was great. <laughs> J bar was great, but now the next step of the night is to go out clubbing to Fez. Now, I don't know if you've heard of Fez before, but it's a club in Cambridge, and Friday Fez is a thing. And also, <laughs> we're on the guest list, aren't we, Isha? Yes, we are. Isha us has guest put list. us on the guest list. Oh my god, Astra's ready! It's only Astrid! Hello. Yeah. Hello. Everyone, if you don't have a football club that you support already, can I recommend Fulham Football Club? They go support Fulham, guys. Where's Tim? I've got Tim. Oh wow, you just got a Hawaiian shirt on. Where's Tim? I've got his phone. Also, I've got no foundation on my nose through no fault of my own. People keep booping my nose. It keeps booping you. <laughs> okay, so I've just got back from Fez and I'm going to bed. It was an okay night out, like to be honest. I find Fez. A little bit claustrophobic the air conditioning is not great in there it gets really hot really sweaty really stuffy I get extremely claustrophobic and like the music is not really my jam either so like I didn't stay long <laughs> so yeah I'll end the vlog here thank you for joining me for my week of lectures I feel like I've spent a lot of the week actually just working and not doing much else but like, that's just like what I've had to do this week to stay on top of things. And I feel much better for it. And actually I do enjoy learning and whatnot. So it's, it's not that bad. <laughs> so please do give the video a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Hit the notification bell so you know when I next upload. And I will see you soon with another video. Bye.